care. They probably don't care that their school's in the what? 30th percentile. What's, you ever hear the statement, ignorance is bliss? Ignorance, I guess ignorance is bliss. Those are the happiest people you'll ever find. Because nothing phases them. Even when their kids are in the 30th percentile school, it doesn't matter. That's one way to live, I guess. That's a good way, I guess, right? Is that a good way to live? Depends. <laughs> or is it a bad way to live? What's the function of education? To give you guys a hard time? No, actually to get you guys to think about all this stuff. Yes? Where does ELAC rank in what sense? That's actually K through 12. But, re but to tell you the truth, ELAC ranks pretty what? Pretty much up there. In the nation? No, that's what they've said. Um, actually, this school is actually a very good school. It's a very, very good school. Uh, the facilities aren't so good. This tape is rolling. So I'll be good. But actually, the school is an outstanding school. It's actually known throughout the nation. Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people have their personal opinions based on a name. They go, oh my god, uh, uh, East Los Angeles, uh, you know. <laughs> and you know, there's historic, I guess, that goes back to what, the sort of Zoot Suit riots, I guess. I don't, I have, I'm not sure. But people have their own feelings about location. Um, and uh, you know, they, they, but the school is actually a very good school. And believe it or not, the math department's actually very, very good, very good math department. It's in Monterey Park. I don't know if I remember the story. I think at one point the, the, the border might have changed and then they didn't change it. Um, they, you know, they could have changed it to Monterey Park, but I think there was some resistance to that. There's some history, like some history. But yeah, it's in Monterey Park. They can call this Monterey Park. People wanted to do that, call this Monterey Park Community College or something, because then they want to remove the the East Los Angeles stigma or something, you know. I, you, might, you guys know, you guys live in the neighborhood. I grew up here too. You know, there are people who, uh, even in my own family, they hear East Los Angeles and you know, they don't want to tell everybody they went to Garfield or anything like that, you know. <laughs> they go out and where they live, I'm not going to tell you when I went to Garfield. It's like, why? You know, when I was in the Marines, um, when you're away from home, I got to tell you, it's not fun being away from home. I miss this place like you wouldn't believe. I miss it. I used to miss everything about it. You know, so you, if you get put in a situation where you start to value things a little differently, you know, some people will never leave this place, or some people who, you know, they can't wait to get out for whatever reason. You know, they have their reasons. They have maybe, you know, um, but others, when you're out, you just don't, you know, realize really what you have until you don't have it anymore. I couldn't wait to get back and eat at where? King Not King Taco. <laughs> where do you go, Eddie? We get those burritos on Evergreen all the time. Or we used to, not anymore. Yeah, I used to go there all the time. You don't believe how you miss that stuff? Like, oh my God. Uh, I didn't miss that, though. I didn't miss Gen S, but I miss, I remember certain things I just missed for some reason. They just hit home. You miss a lot. So I. I don't think I'm going to leave ever. <laughs> Never going to leave. East Los Angeles won't leave. Huh? It's like even my grandfather, my grandfather, you know, I don't know where he got this from, but I don't agree with him, but my grandfather, uh, who grew up here, he still lives in the same house. Um, he had like 12 brothers and sisters. They all moved out, like Whittier or you know different neighborhoods. They all moved out. He stood. He stood. Grandparents. They still live a few miles away. I gotta go see him. 
Okay, let me ask you other questions. The percentile of percentile of what score? Let's look at the percentile of the data score 120. How many data scores are behind 120? How many? 17. Okay, 17 divided by what's the total number of scores? 30 times 100. What do you guys get? What is that approximately? It's approximately what? 56.7, round to the nearest whole number. So that'd be approximately 57. So guess what? The score of 120 is in the 57th what? Percentile. Fifty-seventh percentile. So what does that mean again? If your score was 120, 57 percent of the scores are where? Behind your score. What percent are in front? 43%. Good. 43%. Um, does anybody know a problem with this sort of system that we're doing here? There's sort of a problem here. We only have how many? 30 data, 30 data values, right? And we're looking at this as percent of data that's behind you. Well, that doesn't mean that there's data scores that are in the 56th percentile or 55 or whatever. Okay, there's not even enough data. There's not even 100 data values. This percentile partitions your data into groups of 100. So you sort of think of it that way. So we're going to look at the question sort of in reverse. We're going to say this. What value represents the kth percentile? And in order to answer this question, we're sort of working backwards. I'm going to have to introduce some notation and a process. And so the notation is this. If you're going to talk about what's known as the kth percentile, your book will describe it as p with a subscript k. OK? p with a subscript k, because we don't have you know, 100 data, to be, data values to begin with. We're sort of having to now start to look at this a little differently. What value would represent that kth percentile? And we're going start to start to answer that question. OK? So for example, I may ask this question to you and say, fine. Uh, what value represents P75? P75 is the question of the what? 75th percentile. Okay. And in order to determine this, we're going to have to go through the, go with the procedure. Okay. You guys ready with the procedure? Okay. Here's your procedure. Your first step. First step in the procedure, step one, is to determine the value L. L, 